tuna. So, the world is ending. And that means there will be no food except apocalypse food. Like tuna. I think it's a good time to start reviewing apocalypse foods. Um, but before I begin, I would like to say um, I found this desk next to a dumpster and I picked it up and I carried it up a flight of stairs alone. I just think that's impressive. Look at how big this desk is. Look at how short hey. and fat and out of breath I am. And also the hair, yeah. I kind of look like half Hispanic Lord Farquaad, you know. ¿Qué estás haciendo en mi swamp? We're gonna open up the tuna. Um, I'm using a can opener for this, so already I'm deducting some points. There's no um, pull tap, I don't know what it's called. There's no, you can't open it without an instrument, or perhaps if you bashed it against something, you might be able to open that. So I'm going to begin opening this now. See that? That was easy, easy entry. So that's good. Um, did I say what I'm doing? I'm reviewing apocalypse food. The juice is coming out. The world is over. It's time to begin up. There is a pungent smell of tuna. It's time to begin thinking about what you're going to eat in the apocalypse. I would, okay. I would say tuna is probably numero uno in apocalypse food because The light was a little too bright for me. It's protein. It comes in a can. Um, I guess you could say that for beans, but... Also, the tuna brand I am reviewing is Bumblebee. Bumblebee tuna. So, I do have to say there is a hair. I don't know if it's my hair. It's a little short to be, well, I guess my hair's short now. It might be my hair, I don't know. It's okay. I believe I've had better tuna in the past. That's some bonus points. Nobody is gonna kill you over this in the apocalypse. They might. But nobody's, you know, for the most part, people are not gonna, vegans are not gonna kill you over this. Can't say that for beans. Oh my god, they <laughs> shot my bumblebee albacore tuna. I wonder if this messed up the lighting. I could turn it off. I would go in for a second bite. It's a little dry for me. I don't really have much else to say. I don't know if you can see the hair. It's there. So, out of 10, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing, but as you can see, the more that I stick my fork in, it falls. I just caught it because I have cat-like reflexes. But when I put it in, look at that. It falls. It's not very... Oh, but in the right position... It sticks. I don't have much else to say, really. Um, it's all right. I would eat it. 
in a, it, it's good in a pinch. Actually, it's not really good in a pinch unless you have the fork is falling. Five, five out of 10, just because of that. Unless you have a tool, this wouldn't really be good in a pinch. Who has a tool when they're in a pinch? I don't know many people that have tools when they're in pinches. I dislike that the water came out so easily. I believe that that is all, really. It's storming outside. Thank you for watching the first episode of Apocalypse Food Reviews. This has been Tuna, Bumblebee, Solid White Albacore in Water. Six out of 10. Final answer, six out of 10.